So here's the Cyberdemon Codex entry, if you really want to read it. Uh, which I just did. It, they've been keeping it a suspended animation because that's exactly what you should be doing. Um, but they obviously hadn't tried the BFG on it because that makes it stagger, which means that you can probably get somebody else to run up and pull the Argent Accumulator out of it. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed is that I've actually got nine points to spend on weapons, which is lovely. I have got Lock on Burst to improve if I want to. What else have we got though? Micro missiles also to improve. Nothing to upgrade here, nothing to upgrade here, nothing I care about here. That's my rocket launcher. This requires me to shoot the crap, like basically line three enemies up, which is actually quite difficult because it's quite frantic. This is an option. But I'm thinking maybe we want to upgrade our new micro missiles because making them efficient <clears throat> and advanced. A quick launcher. I don't really want that, unfortunately. The trouble with upgrades is they're not necessarily things you actually want. But if I bought all of them, I could fire them infinitely, right? But I have to also master them, which is annoying. So we'll reduce the ammo cost for a start. Next upgrade costs three. They did take a while to load. We'll do that. We have got five left, and I was thinking maybe this will cost nine. So let's completely upgrade our new micro missiles. Now we need to stick four different demons in five seconds. So I'm guessing that means let's beat the crap out of them. Uh, when it says stick, <laughs> I'm guessing it means kill at all, but it might mean kill with the. Um, I also believe that I have already. Yeah, it's not going to undo that progress. Uh, I don't know whether it necessarily means with the micro missiles, which is potentially the case. So we will see. I'd like to be able to get hold of that haste, but I can't figure out how, so... Nice. That is actually such an improved reload time that I'm glad that I paid for it. Sorry for the silence, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Kill this Magnus. Great, good job. Uh... I mean, I don't even mean it's just hit them, right? Stick, to me, usually refers to attached to a wall. But I, I don't know if that's um, exactly what I want to achieve with this. This is fine. Kill this. That could kill that. Didn't quite, but that's okay. Hello. I see you. Anything over there? No. I actually managed to overkill that, which is kind of annoying because I feel like I could get a decent amount of um, value out of a glory killed. Excuse me. No. I want this. Good. I feel like I could get a decent amount of value out of a glory killed Mancubus because they are that fastest, basically. Also, this. I also want to try and get that haste, as I have mentioned. Gotcha. Right. Let's let's get a press on then, since we actually can. Let's um switch back to oh, not what I meant, but good enough. Not what I meant. I would rather have a oh, hello. I'd rather have a quad damage down here, but we did reach a checkpoint, so that went a lot better than at the end of the last episode. What am I trying to do here? I don't want to go in there. You can't make me. I did get another weapon upgrade point. We need a few of them, unfortunately, to get to the next level of any of the ones that we do have. That explosion. Did I do that? I assume that I bought something that causes that explosion to happen. Just going to have a nice look at the scenery while we're here. Why not? Can we get in there somehow? Does that go somewhere? Let's have a look. I think it does. Is this somewhere we've been? I think it's not. It might be somewhere we're about to go to. Ooh. That looks like a secret. We should go and investigate immediately. Uh, apologies for the turny roundy nature of this particular episode, but I think it's worthwhile going to investigate a secret like that. Let's, um, are any of these weapons lighter? <laughs> I feel like I'm walking pretty slowly. It's not far. 
I think it's just in this sludge down here. We have to go in the underneath. Why did they respawn? Nice. Let's get this then. Well, again, pray to suit tokens. I've waxed lyrical about the nature of these things. I'm not entirely sure they're that good. But let's see what we can get. I guess the only things left are dexterity and equipment system. We have got three. Switch happens faster. Okie dokie. Do it. I don't feel like it makes a huge difference to me. As I've mentioned before, switching weapons has not historically been the problem. The problem has been picking the weapon to, to switch to, not actually making the switch. But Unlocking all the things is going to be fine. Also, anything else that I need to know about. I think the next stage is going to be um, going through that teleport thing. I assume it's a teleport. I'm going to walk on it. I mean, here we go. They call me Mellow Yellow, quite rightly. Uh, okay. Now we're here. Where is the thing? It's around the back here. Am I not facing it that way? Oh, it's over there. Huh. Okay, let's just fight this stuff. Don't take me back. Yeah. That's easy. Okay, fine. Um, another arena, I suppose. What are we going to be fighting here, though? It seems a little bit more... It's actually quite empty. Hello? There we go. No? This? Let's grab that. I haven't got any BFT ammo. I haven't had any for a while. Let's see if we can actually get anything out. Ooh. I don't like that for being um, a thing you can't attack from the front. Oh, get out of here. It's not even funny. Yeah, whatever. Throw my hands up in the air and... Like, I just don't care. Because I don't care. You know what? I can reload. You lot, once you're dead, you're dead. So I'm just going to keep trying again. And of course, like any good minion of hell, not even minion of hell, any, any hell person who has been there, done that, which is me, um, you, just, you, can't, you can't stop this. I have memory of every single one of my previous lives. So screw the hell out of you all, basically. I'm going to remember everything next time I die and I'm gonna be prepared for your onslaught and you as a foolish demon thank you I'm just enjoying the quad damage in case you're wondering why I've gone quiet Got to get four different demons in four seconds, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, what's going on? Uh, nope. No. Oh, that's over. See, I thought I could jump over that, but apparently only one of my jumps actually is going to work. I wish I could deal with the uh, distance to my glory kill. I'm pretty sure I have a, an improved range on my glory kills, but they're still not working. Super shotgun. Uh, no, bad low health. No cookie. I don't want this. Nice. Bit of HP. Sorted. Right. Um, oh, no. Get out of my face. Not you two. I'm not here first. Yes. Correct. Didn't work. Maybe I didn't have enough for two. How much do they take? I thought I had six and they take three. I tried to change all of them both in quick succession, in case you were wondering. Um, I'm wondering whether... Did I... Did I improve the ability for me to... Yeah, that's... A, I don't... Okay. What? No. So I've actually got... Um, BFG on Z. Or Z. Ah, uh, so... I'm also thinking maybe I don't want to... Take the quad damage just yet? Seems to make some sense. Well, maybe I do. Maybe it didn't start until I took the quad damage. Oh, no. Combat music. Alright, bring it on. 
Hello? Or do I simply have to kill four enemies in four seconds? The thing is, to gain that mastery, I have to figure out what I need to do and then actually do it as well, which is causing me a little bit of an issue right now. For this one, I have to get three enemies lined up long enough for me to aim at them and then shoot them. Oh, what a miss. This is the railgun of old. Nice. I have an anecdote of my mad skills with the railgun in Quake 2 as uh, the only railgun um, you remember DM the edge which is the best DM as well by the way best gun best deathmatch uh, arena oh do one up do not one get out of here saw it um, best gun best arena so I was basically sorted already. And then there's that underground bit. You know the one. There's like a tunnel underneath DM the Edge. Which takes you from the water out the back. To... Oh, that's punched him over. Nice. Um, to the main arena in the middle. It just goes underneath. This was in the days when my computer could render Quake 2 in... Uh, 16 bit color, but not not 16 color, but 16 bit color. Um, and I had error diffusion on the uh, translucent textures, that's how that worked, which meant, well, instead of actually being translucent, it just, instead of having an alpha channel, it just pretended to have an alpha channel by stippling the colour of the water across the colour of the thing behind the water. Makes perfect sense. That's probably how you'd do it if you didn't have a true alpha channel because it wasn't 32 bit colour. The 32 bit colour did become available on Quake 2, which is pretty cool. Can we um can we talk about how I have not managed to kill any of these mancubuses for ages? And so it was dark. It's dark under there. In that place about which I speak. I don't have enough ammo in that gun to do the attack that I need to do in order to... What is that all about? Yeah? Oh, it's died. I overkilled him with a shotgun blast. Um, managed to kill my mate. Not my actual mate. Like, he was playing... Alright. I'm going to assume that you're going to be aware of the uh, colloquialisms that we use. I didn't actually kill a human being. I killed the avatar of a human being within the context of a game in which you are supposed to kill the avatars of human beings. Okay. Let's just take that for granted. I was at the water end of that... Did you just, did you just capitulate to that? I was at the water end of that said tunnel, and he was at the dark end. And if you remember, which you do because you played it, there's a few um, pillars down the way, so it's dead easy to hide behind. Last... Oh, you dick. Last shot of the match. No, last death of the death match, which... I think it was time deathmatch as well, so it was within the last five seconds. Single shot, didn't have the aiming hack on or anything like that, it wasn't... It was just not done. It's un, un, impure. Um, shot him straight through the head, or whatever. Single shot, one shot, bam. And of course, that railgun had a pretty cool effect with its little helix of sparks. Remember that? Helix of sparks that trail behind the railgun when you fired a slug out of it? Pretty cool. Um, anyway, that's my anecdote of being amazing at deathmatch, is that one time I managed to one-shot my mate from a blind shot, but I, like, guess where he was? So he wasn't completely blind, you know? Yeah, that's me dead good at death. Incidentally, uh, The Edge was one of the maps that I reproduced for Unreal Tournament, which is probably the best deathmatch game that's ever been made, bar none. Um, I know a lot of games have a really decent deathmatch, but they're all a gimmicky really decent deathmatch, whereas Unreal Tournament was a very simple... Are you fine? Please fight each other. Uh, a very simple... I haven't picked up the fuel yet! Get out of here! Uh, a very simple... There it is. Sweet. Uh, oh, I only picked... Oh, I only took me to four. Well, you can die. So that sorts me out for 
basically everything. There we go. Uh, including this. Nice. One shot with that thing. Let me spin this up. And one part of this thing is actually vulnerable. I thought it was a belly. Here's the belly. Die it. Kill. Murder, death, kill. MDK. Good, good, good game that I never got the hang of. As far as I understand. <laughs> don't. Since I got the hang of it, I didn't really play it. And therefore, I'm not actually sure whether it's a good game. But I understand it's a good game. And therefore... I'm going to say that it's a good game, even though, as mentioned, didn't play it. I stole it from... Dixon's. <laughs> I just left it lying around, so I picked it up. Thanks. I mean, I didn't steal a copy of the game. I did steal a copy of the game. But what I stole was like a... Um... I know there's a baddie behind me. I'm not appreciating it. Uh, I stole just the disc, which they had left on a scanner. Of all things. I just picked it up. No. Don't want it. I'll have it. I was a bit uh, I was a little bit more I wouldn't say rebellious, but a little bit less prone to following the rules when I was a kid. I did have a friend who was a bad influence on me, of course. It's not like I just chose to follow people just don't just choose to follow the rules. People remind them of like teach them how, which is the best bit. Frankly. I appreciate that there are other people looking out for the the future non non conformists of mankind. You can't you don't just become a non conformist because you figured it out. You've got to have people teaching you the idea. You don't have to have teachers. That is complete nonsense and you know it and I know it. You know that I know it as well, that's the best bit. Like we're all talking on the same wavelength here. There you go. Have a quad damage shot. Are you not dead yet? How about now? Yeah, you're both dead. That's that's sweet. How about you? Yes! Sorted. That was the exact right time to pick up the quad damage, which makes me happy because it means I did something right for once. I do not know how I'm supposed to stick four enemies in four seconds with this... Uh, for the mastery of this gun here. Oh yeah, found you. But, you know, we've, we've swapped a few things over. I could have used any of these... <laughs> extra utilities that I've got on me, but I just didn't. Might as well pick up the, keep the siphon grade on, as the hologram has actually probably been the most um, useful one so far. It's actually had noticeable effect. I'll tell you what, I'm getting a sore throat. Anyone else getting a sore throat? I don't know if it's just me. Maybe there's something going around, but <clears throat> I feel like I've been like... I'm sorry for saying like so much as well. It's not so much a habit, but I mean, it is a habit, obviously. That's how it works, but I just don't really know what to say next. Um, I feel like I've been breathing wood smoke. And recently I did breathe a little bit of wood smoke because someone had a wood fire. Um, but I'm not going to blame them for my inability to breathe. Well, I could do. So if I go this way. Oh, excuse me. That was a minor hiccup which caused me to stop talking. And I was going to say, if I go this way. So underneath here. Or underneath this bridge, which is actually really obvious now I see it. There is some sort of data gram. Things I can go through here. Here? Can't go through here, mate. There's nothing there. What is this map? There's a map here. This is one of those times when I'm going, have I missed a thing? Because it's on the map. Or do I somehow have to figure it out? Or, wait, is it that? No. I pressed R to reload. It wasn't my intention. Um, but is it going to reveal itself later? That's the common thing, is that I don't realise that what's actually happening is something is going to happen in a minute. So I'm... Oh, hello. What's that for? Does that recharge your item? That's pretty cool. Um, I would like to know how to get to the things that I can't get to. But again, it could be through the back, right? So let's... <laughs> Knowing me, I'll just walk off and forget about it, and then I'll get to the next episode and go, do you remember that thing that I didn't do because I didn't realise I had to? Yeah, I still haven't done it. I'm glad I went back there because there's HP and armour that has apparently respawned. Apparently this is actually deathmatch. Right, let's... Um... 
Let's follow this. Ready for another one? I'm madly upset that I haven't got any BFG ammo. What is that? Do you want me to just press that? Because I'm freaking well not gonna. Right, I will. Map update. Oh, fine. <laughs> so it says it's joined up. But it ain't joined up. It's just pretending. So this is probably how we get into the back to get to the, the boost. So I'm going to guess what's actually happening is the... Take your time. The boost will uh, basically fix us after this final arena. Okay, good. Let's put this... No, I like the explodey shot on this. Bring me this back. Give me that. And then let's have the Gauss Cannon and the... Uh, I kind of want the Chain Gun, but... Right, let's just use the Shotgun. This thing is so very not clever. There we go. And Shotgun and Gauss Cannon. And aim and fire. Oh, I did it. Oh, I got that as well, somehow. Yes. Bring them on. Nice. Right, something is going to attack me in a horrible way that I'm not ready for. I can guarantee you that because I've played video games before. As you can tell by my unenviable skill at playing this particular one. The little icons that tell me when I'm full and what I'm trying to pick up are non-obvious. Which is kind of pesky because it means that I'm not quite sure what's happening most of the time. I sense that what's happening is that it's building up to something by making these scary noises, but it's not really having the uh, the desired effect necessarily because I got a little bit used to that in the old Doom Three, uh, uh, not Doom, yeah, Doom Three. Uh, I was going to say Arena, which is quite um, environments. Excuse me. I guess I'll take this, which is the yellow skull and now we get squished completely or yeah we hide in here correct <laughs> that's a very doomy thing to do but i like how they've upgraded it for the modern modern viewer let's try it now I do like a good crusher. Not Wesley Crusher. Not Wesley Snipes. But you know, like a... I don't want that just yet. There is some... Uh, never mind. Um, <laughs> talking to myself, not actually finishing any of my sentences. Don't worry about it, okay? It's gonna happen. Sentences being finished is a luxury that you lot basically can't afford, is what I'm saying. Um, I'm not going that way because they've locked the door. Give me a yellow skull and then lock the yellow door anyway, which kind of defeats the... Like if they had a portcullis, why why have a yellow skull at all? You know, just, um, just don't. <laughs> Basically, keep the portcullis shut. There's a haste available. Probably not the correct time to take it, necessarily. Just um, run around here. Oh, hello. I was going to glory kill it, but I assumed that it would be out, out of the question by the time I got there. Don't want to say that just now. Uh, I think that was the correct... Let's have a look at that rune upgrade, because I'm pretty sure that was the correct uh, way of dealing with that rune. Death from above. Okay. Okay, I'll press this. Well, I'll get, let's get this first. I think that gives us one, maybe two now. Uh, yes, two. So, can we just upgrade one? There's three in there. Oh, not what I meant to do. Uh, three in there and I think four. Okay, four in there. So, need a few more of those. Pressing this button is no doubt about to make things go down, I believe, is the phrase. Oh, my sore throat, though. It's not It's not the sort of sore throat that, you know, gets you sympathy, basically. It's the sort of sore throat where you're just mildly annoyed by it yourself. Is that the way out? <laughs> It's like the road to hell. The pavement made of good intentions going through that door, but you can't get to that door because it's blocked off. Now we take haste. Oh, 
Oh, it's invulnerability. My mistake. I'm glad I didn't take it when I didn't. It's just um, insufficient fuel. All right. Is there going to be more bad shit in here? No. That may have been premature taking of the invulnerability, but it did get us through two mancubuses that otherwise would have probably been a little bit of a thorn in our sides, so to speak. Can't seem to glory kill anything anymore. Why is this happening to me? Why do bad things happen to nice people? I mean, I am in hell. And <laughs> pretty much the purpose of this place is to visit bad things upon nice people. I'm not going to be able to death from above many of these things. Checkpoint. Good. Stuck. Oh, we can get through there. Secret. I have forgotten that I have a thing that helps me out. Again, the other thing that I don't care about is having more ammo when I'm always at the end of my ammo stash. I guess having more ammo is ideal when you get one of those munitions boxes or one of those armor type holdy things, that you, an armor piece. Ooh, what did we win here? Pinky. It's learning us about the pinkies. Charge using a cortical bone plate covers the face. That's why you can't shoot them from the front. It does it front, the front. It does that um, electric shield thing, but it's I think it's just armor. They're able to stop quickly or turn makes them vulnerable to charging over ledges or into hard surfaces, stunning them. Yeah, I think it's a significant bite. Ignored carcasses of pinkies, which attract from paws. They are considered a delicacy, so it's basically dog meat, not the dog from Fallout Four. Uh, the meat of dog, it's considered a delicacy in some places, uh, so I believe, and yet yeah, in other places, not so. Let's um, have our Gauss cannon ready. I do like the effects. They're just massively updated things that we were very used to in the original Doom, which is pleasing. This, um, you gave me no choice, and yet here I am. Can't press it. That's a shame. Is that a death and rebuff? Death and rebuff is quite hard on anything bigger than a, an imp, basically. Oh, what? Nice. I'm guessing by accident I can probably shoot four things with four mini rockets in four seconds, or however many it was. You, you, you get the gist. To achieve that mastery, but I'm not sure I'm entirely convinced by the nature of the mastery in the first place. I do like the... Those mini rockets really feel quite satisfying, if I'm being honest. That's, um... I, I do appreciate that. The way they sort of jump out of the... Hello? Um, the gun like that, and pretty much focus on their target quite admirably is useful. It makes me feel like I'm actually firing the thing rather than just sort of like none like the rocket launch where the particles the particles the, the projectiles travel quite slowly. Having a nice amount of speed on them was really helping. Uh, very well. <laughs> I wasn't standing there but you could pretend that I was. That locking takes too long, by the way. Is that happening because of me, or is that just happening? I think it's just happening, so that's fine. It means I don't have to feel too self-conscious about it, I suppose. I don't want to be the guy who sets that thing off. That's... They do home as well, I hadn't realised. Can I get on top of that, do you think? And if I can, do I want to? Yes, I do. Okay. We'll figure that out. I don't know if I should do it right now. Maybe I should. Let's get in there. We want to get up here. Oh, heck. Get out of here. I didn't invite you. No, gas. Holding Q. It's quite difficult when you're me. Okay, good. Uh, we're out of ammo for that. That's not fun. Please. Great. Now, just let me stay on here for a while. Oh, okay. So we're going to have to do this at the end. 
The only reason I went up here now is that this feels like the sort of thing that happens during combat and then stops at the end. Which means it feels to me like the sort of... Well, if I was designing this game, I would have made a secret up there that you have to get whilst you're in combat. Because if you didn't, you would be SOL. Basically. I need ammo somehow. This is health. It's not ammo. Ammo and health are different things. Uh, this is a very small arena as well, so there's not really much that I haven't checked for HP. Is there anything I can um, really lay into it with? Not really. I'm just going to shotgun it, I guess. Ooh. Yes, there is. <laughs> hey. Never forget your trusty chainsaw. Especially when it's the only thing you've got left with any ammo in it. Because it's basically going to refill you to a great degree. Yeah, that was a satisfying way of completing that particular mission. I like the um, the effect on that with the shadow. Come on then. Down you come. Good. And then that's probably open. Hooray! And that opens the door below us. I mean, this is this feels very much like an original Doom level. Where you have to ride the thing up and press the button and it opens the door below you and all that malarkey that we've just dealt with. By the way, where is the thing that I was looking at before? Should we go back through there? Excuse me while I do do that, because I'm an obsessive completionist. He says, not obsessively completing anything. Uh, oh, I found the lever. I hope you're all happy. I'm very happy. This is this, probably the second lever that I found. Up there? No, that was the one we found. So that uh, riff means that I have found the entrance to the, uh, the, the doom flavoured part of this map, which I have to find. Is it up through there and down again? Yeah, actually finding it, of course, is the second part of the challenge. Um, so I'm going to run around this arena just in case it's really obviously close and I'm going to feel foolish if I didn't check. Ooh, thank you. Much obliged. Anywhere obvious. Can you stop thumping so loud? It's pretty obnoxious. And we check down here. Quick look underneath. I mean, I don't see it. Alright. That implies to me that it's back the other way. I'm wondering if the thing that I was looking at is actually where we need to go. So that's why I was only half-heartedly looking around here. So let's look up here. See if we can see anything apparently what we're after. Again, I keep forgetting that I have the the middle click that gives me stuff, that does stuff. Uh, so we want to go... Aha! It is down here. This is the final... So this is the level where you first meet the Baron of Hell. Oh, I don't think they originally looked like that. Uh, in the original Doom. Please. Oh, right. That has a button, I believe. Also, these are a lot faster, so what are you doing? <laughs> this is so silly. Let's go. Nice. And then... Can't be it. A secret. Soul Sphere. I do believe that is it. That's a bit of a shame that that's such a small section because I would like to have fought the original Baron of Hell. Was it Hell Knight? Also, that should be me. Oh, I know. I'm I'm complaining a lot about things that really don't need complaining. I reloaded. That's my my mistake. <laughs> Playing too much Fallout as usual. Reloading is part. What do you mean max? I guess it is max. That was yeah. I'm glad to have found that. So, thanks for being with me on that very small sojourn into original Doom. I do like when those old barrels explode in that new way. I'm not pleased about this idea, though. Very much. Thank you. Uh, I don't want to pick that up, because I can't. And also, there's more important things to do. Like not setting off this arena. Blue key. Right. Well, I guess that's setting this off then. Thanks for that thing floating by there. It's pretty cool. Go. 
This is an awesome area, I have to say visually, that is quite impressive. Very pleased with the design of this game. Not that I did it. There we go. Doors shut. Well, these brownies. They're absorbing all of my best efforts. Spectre. Oh, I see. That was what they were called. The original demons, which are the... Uh, this is the name of the pinkies in the original game. Uh, yeah, don't waste that ammo on that thing. Don't appreciate you doing that, by the way. Uh, yeah, they they had an invisible version, as you well know. So this will be just that again. I say just. It seems a little bit terrifying. Why am I so slow? I feel like I'm walking. It's really quite frustrating. Except for when I'm actually running around things. Then I feel like I'm not walking. Something's shooting at me that isn't this. And I don't want it to be. There you are. Nope. Good. Done it. What a legend. Mid-air. Jumping in the air and shooting things. That's the uh, actual real name of this game. Doom is just a, a pithy shorthand. I don't really like the name. Jumping in the air and shooting things uh, is... Uh, punching things, my mistake, is a clearly superior name. Glory killing them is quite satisfying, but also quite valuable. So I'm glad to have the opportunity. We'll read about the Spectre in a minute, but it's clearly just a, a demon with a pit boy. Uh, pit boy. Stealth boy. That was obviously a uh, joke waiting to be made, but it's almost like an Ikea joke, you know? You figure it out. That was almost worth it. I don't know if I took too much damage to make that worth it, but there's plenty of HP around, so I'm not highly concerned. There's another one. Where are you? Show yourself. There you are. I mean, it does hurt, but not a hell of a lot. So, right. and this is probably the last one, so we could be happy. Checkpoint? Not checkpoint. Okay, dokie then. I really like this Gauss weapon now that I've sped up the uh, time it takes to do that. Not sped up, re reduce the time it takes. Sped up the action of aiming the. Um... Oh, we can't let you live. Sorry. Good. Nope. The time it takes to aim the, um, the, the... Does that death from above? No. Wow. Well, that's checkpoint. No, that's sorted out. Uh, oh, it's been a very long episode, but I got a little bit engrossed, so... <laughs> uh, the, the, the turret version of the Gauss Cannon. I'm glad that I sped it up, because it's actually really powerful. And quite useful. So, that'll be the end of this episode, which has gone on far too long. Um, quite tired now. <laughs> A little bit uh, terrified of all these arenas I have to keep dealing with. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. The next one will be in a couple of days. And don't forget, hopefully by now, our Life is Strange series is well on its way. So do check that out if you think you might enjoy it. And check it out even if you don't think you might enjoy it. Because you never know what you don't know that you don't know. So thanks for watching this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Very, very cheerful way of signing off.